Right, with that to have done, Craven, Dan, you just won the National Cycling Champs. How does it feel? How was the race? Oh, uh, absolute uh, relief. I wasn't um, feeling very good on the bike today. You know, I flew in on short notice to come and do the National Champs because this is a selection race for the Olympics. And um, obviously, having qualified the place for Namibia last year already, I wanted to come and cement the the place so that I can go to Rio. Obviously, having won the race, um, you know, the decision's not final, but it looks even better that I can go. Um, Till had a really good race. It's been many years since I've actually raced against Till, so it was it was great to have Till Costa and myself, um, you know, like the three strong men in Namibian road cycling in the breakaway. Uh, fantastic having Pupkiewicz Megabolt sponsor the championships and of course, you know, if it wasn't for Nedbank, I would not have been able to be here today. So, you know, we can't, we can't do it without the support of the federations, the Olympic committees, the sponsors, all of the volunteers here today. So, you know, thank you very much to everyone who's, who's played a role. Right, and tell us a bit about the, the rivalry and the competition between the three of you over there. So, as I said already, you know, there was Costa Saibib also riding Ned Bank, Till Drobisch riding in the colours of his German con uh, continental team. And we are the, the three strongest riders on the, in the Namibian national team. And I always knew that at some point in the race, the three of us would be in the front and we would distance the rest of the pack. I wasn't sure if Costa was going to go the distance. Um, because he, you know, he races domestically, whereas Till and I, we race in Europe, so we, we have a little bit of an edge because we race harder races, which puts us a little bit, you know, helps with the fitness and everything. Uh, but Costa did a, a great job sticking with us. And um, I mean, the, the Federation put on such an amazing course. This is the first time we've had a, a race in Namibia that's been anything like this. This is a real European style race. There were so many corners, so many hills, you know, so many great places that, that spectators could come and watch. And um, so many marshals out on the course. Absolutely amazing work, you know, putting on a race like this. Instead of taking it out, you know, where it's easy to do a race, you know, the, the race organizers, you know, really put on a spectacle for us. And I think it's absolutely amazing. And I hope that we have more races like this in the future. Great. And Dan, how does it feel to have that Olympic spot? Uh, well, the, the Olympic spot isn't quite confirmed yet. I mean, obviously, there were three selection races. I was the best Namibian in all three of them. So I assume that it will be mine. But, you know, I can't take anything for granted. I have to wait for the, the higher powers to decide. But um, I feel very confident now. The Olympics in London were... It was a bit of a disappointment for me. I was involved in a crash. I wasn't able to finish the race. And I've been working extremely hard in the last few years, you know, making sure that all of the foundation blocks, all the building blocks are in place so that I'm, you know, really strong and ready uh, to compete in the, in the future. I don't mean just these Olympics. I mean in the whole season that's ahead. Um, unfortunately, the course in Rio, it's not a type of course that suits myself or suits Till. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a pure climbers course, something, you know, like the guys like Chris Froome, Vincenzo Nibali, the guys who win the Tour de France. It's really, it's built kind of for guys like that. So for a rider like myself, the the goal would be to, to get in the early breakaway, um, try and get a bit of a head start before the heels and obviously give Namibia and the flag a bit of TV time. Right, well done,